Hi, this is Bill Bronchick, and in this video, I'd like to discuss with you one of the best ways that I close deals with motivated sellers, and that is the art, the science, and the discipline of following up. You know, a lot of investors will talk to a seller once, just once, and the seller won't seem that interested or doesn't seem that motivated in what you have to offer. So you'll just put that person aside and never call them back. And that's a mistake. Because the idea is, in order to close someone, they have to be ripe. That means they have to be at the point of ready to make a decision. Not everyone is at that, at that point yet. Think of yourself. Let's say you have a TV that's on the fritz, and you know, you're thinking about it. Maybe you stop by Best Buy and look at a few TVs, but you, know, you get the salesman's card, but they never call you back. And then one day, <clears throat> you wake up and it's Super Bowl Sunday and go, oh my God, my TV is on the fritz. It's not working at all. Today's the day I got to buy a TV. And you run into Best Buy and the first salesman, good or not, will sell you a TV. Now, that first salesman who talked to you probably could have made the sale if he followed up with you. If he bothered to see where you were in the decision-making process. If he was able to catch you while you were ripe. And that's the way it is with motivated sellers. See, motivated sellers may not be at the point of pain or motivation when you first uh, contact them to the point where they have to do something. So you might talk to somebody who says, mm, I'm not really interested in what you have to offer you or your price or your terms or what you're offering. And then you just put them aside. But if you keep calling them three weeks later, two weeks later, a month later, just keep following up, following up, following up, eventually that person may get ripe. And you want to be in their face when they get ripe. You want, when it's decision time for them, you want to be the one calling. You know, they say luck is being at the right place at the right time. But the only way to be at the right place at the right time is to be in a lot of places a lot of the time. So it's statistically, if you're in their face all the time, when they turn, they get ripe, it's time for them to make a decision. If you're the one calling that day, you're the one making the sale. So you want to increase those odds of being, quote, lucky by being in a lot of places a lot of the time. So have some sort of follow-up system. You know, when I started before computers were really in this business. I had a black plastic box I got from Office Depot that had 30 tabs in it for the days of the month, actually 31. And then I had an index card for each property and I wrote notes on it about the person and their family and their hobbies and the dog's name. And I went, drove by the house, took a picture, a Polaroid and snapped it, you know, uh, stapled it to the card and kept it in my little box. And then when I talked to someone, I would take notes. I would, you know, so I remember the next time I talked to them, um, some details about them to, to instantly create rapport. Um, and then I would follow it up 30 days later in my little box and then I just, you know, open up my box for the sixth, that's the sixth day of the month, pull up everyone I have to call that day, and you say, hey, Bob, how's it going? You know, remember me, Bill, we talked about blah, 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 blah. Hey, how's your dog doing? I heard your dog was sick. And immediately, you're back in that rapport again with that person. If you don't do this, you're going to be letting a whole bunch of deals slide by. It costs so much more money to get the phone to ring with a new customer than it does to follow up with an existing potential customer. So work those leads. Follow, have a follow-up system. I don't care if you use a bunch of folders on your desk or the black box I used to use. Now I use a software program. I use what's called a CRM, a Customer Relationship Manager. Um, there's plenty out there. You can use Outlook, um, Salesforce. I use one called Zoho, Z-O-H-O, CRM. They're all good. Just have some sort of follow-up system where you can keep notes and then put a tickler in your calendar uh, at a certain date to follow up on your leads. If you follow up on the existing leads that you didn't close, you will find that there's a lot more business out there than you think. And stop wasting money trying to drag in new leads that may not be ripe either. The most important thing about getting to a motivated seller is to get them at the right time. So if you're not following up with the leads that you paid for, that you paid to get your phone to ring, you're wasting your money. The art, the science, the discipline of follow-up, that's what's going to get you to close more deals.